Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time it's going to be a new Dragoonity combo for the April 29th, 2019 ban list. We lost Dark Matter, we didn't lose Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, I'd been formulating combos that I thought would use neither of those cards, but fortunately Red Med is still with us. Now, Dark Matter is gone, meaning we don't have access to getting Goliath through Arc Brave from the deck, but we do still have access to a lot of combos. So what I'm going to be showing you today is two different variations of the same sort of combo, one is better than the other. I'm going to be showing the, the best one first, which makes four interruptions, three negates and one bounce, and then summons Goliath from deck. And then there's the lesser version of it that only summons three interruptions, two negates, and one interruption uh, in the form of uh, using less specific cards in your opening hand. But I'm going to be showing you both of those in this video, and we're basically going to be showing you how to get to here. This is the four interruption board. Uh, this is supposed to be a Borderload Savage Dragon. I don't own one because none of my local shops have one, so it's just a Stardust, but this is Borderload Savage Dragon. And this is the kind of board you should be ending on with various three-card combos. So I'm going to be showing you this one first that gets to this point, and then I'm going to be showing you the lesser of the two combos that, again, ends on three interruptions and Goliath rather than the four that you see in front of me here. And these combos do not require Dark Matter. And the first one I'm going to show you doesn't even use Dread Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon because I thought that card might take an L for society. But anyway, before I show you these combos, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to welcome you on board of the channel. If you want to see more stuff, I'd love to show it to you. But if you like this video, when you're done watching it, make sure to leave a like and maybe leave a comment down below with some feedback or whatever or what you think about these sorts of things. Anyway, uh, and if this video gets enough likes, I may consider actually putting some thought into a Dragoonity deck profile in the future, even though I think this deck sucks, but it is my favorite archetype in the game, so I do like to mess around with it for flavor purposes. I like solitaring with it and finding out new intricacies and combos to perform, so there is that. So if this video gets enough likes, I may consider doing a Dragoonity deck profile, no matter how bad the deck is and try to put as much theory into it as possible. But anyway, let me show you the combo. All right, so the first combo I'm going to show you is the best combo that I'm going to be showing you in this video, and that is the way to make four interruptions and Goliath happen with a three-card combo. Now, what I'm going to be showing you is Sinidus plus Coos plus Mistleton. Really, it's Sinidus plus Tuner plus Mistleton. Now, you could do this in various different ways. The most important card in this combo sequence is going to be the Mistleton. This is the card that is in our hand that allows us to make this from three into four interruptions because of the way that we're going to be utilizing this card as a starting piece and in the end game of the combo sequence. And so you could do this combo with ducks if you wanted to. Basically, the biggest way for you to, you know, mentally compartmentalize how you need to be performing this combo is you need to have Mistleton in your hand, and you need to have some card combination that gets you to summoning a Barka and equipping two tuners to it. That's all you really need. And Synodus does that by itself by discarding a tuner. Uh, that automatically gets you to Barka, so that's the way I'm going to be showing you how to do it, uh, essentially. Like, you can expand upon it by going, like, Cards of Consonance, discarding a tuner, then Ravine, discarding a second tuner, getting Ducks. Then, effectively, the combo takes, like, less actual cards, but I digress. So the way you're going to be starting this combo off is you're going to be Normal Summoning, Dragoonity, Synodus, and you're going to be using that to discard Coos, and you're going to special or equip Phalanx from the deck. Phalanx will then special summon itself, and the reason I'm doing it in this order, because you may think you want to equip Coos, is because if you start with Coos, you want to get Phalanx from your deck with the Mistleton, because the Mistleton is just going to swap around what tuner you have on the field anyway to make your Barka, because with these two, you can't make Barka. But we're going to use the Mistleton, discard, uh, sending the Phalanx to the graveyard to special summon the Mistleton, and then Mistleton will equip Coos from the graveyard to it, and then Coos will special summon itself. And so now from here, we've fulfilled what we need to do to make this combo happen. We can make ourselves our Barka, and then we can equip the two tuners from Grave to it. So Barka will use its effects, equip the Coos and the Phalanx from the Grave, and then you're going to special summon both of them. And so now we've got two level 4 lower dragons on the field, and then we've got two other dragons on the field. So we're going to use the Barka and the Mistleton to go into the Hieratic Link. I wish we had the Dragoonity Link, because if we had the Dragoonity Link, we'd be able to get value off of this. Uh, and then the combo would literally not need uh, two tuners, because you'd just be able to search Divine Lance off of this, and if you had one less tuner, you'd play Divine Lance and get the second tuner, and then that fulfills the combo anyway. But we don't have access to the Dragoonity Link yet, because this is TCG Legal, uh, so we just have to make do with this, which means that our combos take one extra card. But anyway, we make the Hieratic Link to get the two downward pointing arrows, and then you're going to Link into LP, and then Link into Pisty to get the arrows to start doing 
the Guard Dragon shenanigans. Now, you're going to use Guard Dragon LP, and you're going to summon Dragoony Arma Levitin from your deck. We're using this card instead of Red Med in this combo sequence because it is better than Darkness Metal in this combo sequence for what we're going to be using it for. But that will make sense a bit later. But So, use Levitin's effect, equip Phalanx to it, and then you're going to special the Phalanx in the far left-hand zone to be out of the way. And then you're going to link the Hieratic Seal of Heavenly Spheres and the Levitin away into your Agrapane over here opening up this zone and then you're going to use the Agrapane's effect because these two still point to the same zone to get your Dragoony Knight Gaederg out. Now Gaederg is going to add Zephyros to your hand and then discard it. If you already had Zephyros in your hand you're capable of adding a different card and then discarding Zephyros. Completely uh, like uh, semantical I think that's a word <laughs> but basically what you want to do is get those Zephyros in the graveyard obviously. And then from here, we got the Phalanx back instead of the Coos because we're making a non Dragoonity Synchro, and Coos locks you to only Dragoonity Synchros. So you're going to Synchro these two into our first Interruption card, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Uh, and so now from here, we're going to use Guard Dragon Pisty to bring back the Levitin from our graveyard. And we're going to use the Levitin this time to equip any dragon from our graveyard, and we're going to equip Dragoonity Arma Mistleton. Uh, so that's. That's pretty nice. So we're equipping the Mistleton to the Leviton, and now from here we need to remove all these Guard Dragons from our field because they're preventing us from going further. So you're going to link away the Pisty, the Elpy, and the Agrapane into our Saryuja Skulldred over here because we want to utilize these zones, and then you're going to use the Blackwing Zephyros that we sent to the graveyard to bounce the Mistleton to our hand and special the Zephyros and take 400 damage. And now from here, we are going to use the Saryuja Skull Dread because it was Link Summoned using three materials to freely special summon the Mistleton from our hand. So we special the Mistleton from our hand, and then the Mistleton will activate its effect, and we will be equipping Koos to it, and then Koos will be special summoned. So we got a lot of value there, and that's why Levitin is better than the Red Med, because if we were using Red Med, uh, we would be using Red Med to like revive Mistleton and then bounce the Mistleton and then special. But then we're losing out on Red Med's effect uh, for like a third time, which that's, you know, really invaluable to do. Uh, and then also we need this because it's a level 8. That's actually very important. It's the most important part about this combo sequence uh, is the fact that this is a level 8. Um, so it just flows a lot better. And also, like, this card is not a brick in the deck because it's a, Dra it's a Dragoonity name. So, like, if you draw it with Sinidus, you can just discard it. Um, and, like, there's nothing saying that you can't have this card in the graveyard at the start of your combo sequence and get Red Med out of your deck off of LP to start your play going, but then you just switch over to using this. The last thing you summon, the one you summon off Pisty, just sort of needs to be this, so that you can equip the Mistleton and then bounce it to hand and then get the free special summon off Saryuja to get back the tuner. But this is the way this combo sequence ends up playing out. But so, what we're going to do is we're going to synchro the Zephyros and the Koos, treating Koos as a level 4, into our second Barka, and then this Barka is going to equip the Koos and the Phalanx back to itself. So, what we're going to do from here is we're going to use Koos, Special Summon itself, and then we're going to link the Saryuja and the Koos away into our second Hieratic Seal of Celestial Spheres, or Heavenly Spheres. I'm really, like, put off by that name change, because, like, Konami of the TCG tries to remove any, like, religious elements uh, from card text when they bring them over. And so this was Celestial Spheres, so it was very space-oriented, but then they changed it to Heavenly Spheres when they brought it to the TCG. Don't quite understand that one, but anyway... <laughs> it's sort of like reverse of what they usually do. But anyway, so you make Celestial Spheres, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use Phalanx Special Summon itself to our last zone. We're going to overlay the Leviton and the Barka, because they are both level 8s, into Titanic Galaxy. And then from here, you are able to synchro the Phalanx and the Mistleton, being the all-important level 6, into the Borlode Savage Dragon. Now, I don't own a Borlode Savage Dragon. I went to all my local shops, and they were all sold out of them. So this is just a Stardust Dragon for Zest. Uh, but basically you end up a Borload Savage Dragon equipping the Saryuja from Grave so it gets four counters on it. So it has four total negates across four different turns. And you have Crystal Wing, which is a monster negate. You have Titanic Galaxy with materials under it, which is a spell suck up, and also redirects attacks away from your Goliath. You have the Hieratic Link, which is going to bounce a card your opponent controls. 
and then allow you to summon Goliath from deck when it does that, and then you have the Borderload Savage Dragon. So you have three hard negations, and then you have this as a fourth interruption, which if you tribute it during your opponent's turn, you are obviously just going to be able to special summon your Amorphage Goliath from your deck at 0-0, zero, zero, and all is well and good with the world, because this has materials under it. So you don't even have to worry about your opponent activating a spell effect to put a material back on this, like other combos that summon this with Agra Pain with no materials. This has two materials under it, so it's going to be able to redirect attacks away from the Goliath, and thus your board is pretty set. It's pretty well established. So this is sort of what you're trying to end up with on the whole of how this combo sequence plays out, and the Mistleton is super important for this because of it being the level 6. Without the Mistleton, you don't have access to going into the last Synchro, and you only get access to three interruptions, but I will show you how that plays out because that one is different because we are going to be using Darkness Metal for that one through and through because there is no reason not to if we're not going to be overlaying with this uh, because of space to, uh, to get to this board. All right, so now I'm going to show you the inferior version of the combo. This one only produces three negates, two hard negates, and one interruption in the form of the Hieratic Link Bounce. But this one requires... These basically are all the various combos that don't require Mistleton in your opening hand because Mistleton is that one card that you have to have in order to get you to that fourth uh, actual interruption. But so this could be Ravine Cusinidus or Ravine Tuner Sinidus. Uh, basically, it's any way to get to Barca with three other dragons on the field. Um, obviously, Mistleton was the uh, was the third other dragon from Barca, Two Tuners, and Mistleton. Uh, but if you had something like Dragon Shrine in place of the Ravine to get Dark Worm, or if you have like World Legacy Guard Dragon in place of it, like the combo still fully works. And then you obviously have interactions of going Cards of Consonance, getting things in Grave, uh, like Cards of Consonance, sing a tuner away, and then Synodus plus a tuner. Uh, you have a lot of different like leeway there as far as how this goes, but these are the more generic openings, uh, but they still get you to three interruptions and Goliath. So for this one, you'd activate Dragon Ravine. Uh, we're trying to get to three tuners total, so you would discard Coos and you would add ph uh, Phalanx to your hand in this instance. And because the reason we need Phalanx is you always need Phalanx, but you want to be equipping Coos to the Senatus. So you always need access to Phalanx if you're going to be making uh, synchros that aren't Dragoony related. Uh, because Coos locks you to those. So, Anyway, you get the Phalanx if you didn't already have access to it. If the first card you discarded was Phalanx, then it doesn't matter. But in this case, we discarded Coos, so we need Phalanx. You're going to use Senatus, discarding the Phalanx, equipping Coos from deck. Coos will special summon itself. You'll synchro them into 8, into Barca. And then Barca will equip all three of them, giving you the three other dragons you require for this combo sequence to work. So you'll special all of them, and then you'll just link Barca and one of them into the Hieratic Link, and then you'll link these two into Elpi and into Pisti. And so now from here, we are actually going to be using Darkness Metal because it's superior to Leviton for this combo sequence uh, because of what we're going to be doing with it at the end of the combo sequence. So get Darkness Metal out of your deck, use Darkness Metal's effect to special summon Phalanx from our graveyard, way over here out of the way again. And then we're going to link the Hieratic Link and the Red Eyes away into Agrapan, just like we did before. Like, these combos are pretty much the same. The only difference is the ending bit. But so, Agrapan into Gaiderg, Gaiderg, adding Zephyros, discarding Zephyros, and then you're going to sink the Gaiderg and the Phalanx away, this time not into Crystal Wing, but this time into our uh, proxy of Borlode Savage Dragon. I'm proxying a $15 card with a Ghost First Ed Italian Stardust Dragon. Uh, <laughs> what kind of life do I live? Uh, but we're making Borlode Savage Dragon instead of Crystal Wing here because we're not going to be able to make it at the end of the combo sequence. And Borlode Savage Dragon is just a superior form of negation because Crystal Wing only negates monster effects, whereas this negates any spell, trap, or monster effect. And you do have a link in your graveyard uh, to equip to it on summon, so you'll just equip the Hieratic Link, giving it two counters. You don't give any attack boost to it because the Hieratic Link has zero attack. However, the negation that it provides is still handy, especially based off what we're going to be doing, because we're still going to be goliathing our opponent anyway. But so, from here, use Pisty's effect, and we're going to bring back the Darkness Metal, and then Darkness Metal is going to revive Koos over into this zone. Now we're going to link away the Pisty, the Elpi, and the Agrapan into our Saryuja again for three materials. Uh, if there was a, ever a day that I could figure out how to get the fourth material under the Saryuja without like having to get rid of one of these cards, um, then like that would be fantastic. Uh, I actually just low-key know how to do it. It just it requires us having the Dragoony Link because the Dragoony Link would have uh, 
Divine Lance in my hand right now, which would mean that I would be able to link away with this, get the draws off Saryuja, and then Red Med will revive a Dragoonity, and then I'd be able to equip Divine Lance to it and get a get a tuner out of deck to, to make up the card that I threw into Saryuja. But uh, I digress. So from here, we've gotten the Guard Dragons off field so we can summon non-dragons. So we're going to bounce the Red Med to hand for Zephyros, and we're going to take 400. And then we're going to synchro these two into another Barca. So we're going to summon our second Barca. Barca is going to equip all three tuners from Grave again. Uh, it actually doesn't have to equip all three, uh, but you can just equip all three just because. Like it doesn't. You're not really going to be using them. You're going to leave one on the field to float, if that. Um, just to be like a, a chump blocker, just to do nothing with, I guess. But so, what you're going to do from here is you're going to use Saryuja, special the Darkness Metal from your hand, and then you're going to special summon one of the tuners. You're going to link the tuner and the Saryuja away into the Hieratic Link. And then from here, like, these cards don't even matter. Like, these ones don't even matter at all, uh, funnily enough. You could have, like, banished one of them to summon the Red Med, but that's, like, not necessary. They can couple very well with having other cards in your hand. Like, if you have, like, a Garuda, the Wind Spirit, in your hand uh, for some reason. You could special that. And you'd have enough zones, uh, you'd have enough zone placement with the Saryuja left over to go Vajrayana into Borload Savage Dragon and stuff like that. So you can definitely expand upon it because you have so many tuners left over, but we're not even just gonna, we, we don't even need these cards. Um, you could just special summon one just to be on the board if you want it to be, but otherwise, we're just gonna use Darkness Metal to bring back the first Barka, which is why Bar Red Med in this instance is better than Leviton, because we need to get back specifically a level 8 and we need to summon it. But so, from here, you're going to overlay these into Titanic Galaxy. Uh, this is left on that Barca, so it just kind of falls off. There's nothing you can really do about that. So, like, yeah, this is just over here doing nothing, like I said. Um, and since we equipped Phalanx, uh, you could have Phalanx be the card that's still here. Um, and, yeah, like I said, like, depending on your zone placement, and if you had, like, Garuda in your hand, uh, Red Med could easily be here. You could special Garuda uh, and do, like, Vajrayana stuff, but... It doesn't really matter. You end up with a lot of extra cards in this combo because it's not very optimized because of the fact that we don't have a level 6 in circulation that's revivable. Because we have the Gay Derg, but it can't be revived because it wasn't properly synchro summoned. So, what we end up with here is the ending little shebang. We've got Titanic Galaxy, Borload Savage Dragon, or at least our proxy of Borload Savage Dragon, uh, proxying it with a card that's like 5 or 6 times its value. I digress. What kind of life do I live? Um, <laughs> but, so Borload Savage Dragon plus uh, Titanic Galaxy and the Hieratic Link. The Hieratic Link will end up tributing itself on your opponent's turn, and that's going to end up summoning Goliath from your deck. The Titanic Galaxy has materials under it, so you can already direct attacks away from this. Uh, and you've got two Hard Negates, a Bounce, and then you lock them out of the extra deck. So, this is the more generic one. Like I said, it requires less specifics. Well, specifically one less specific, and that is Mistleton. Uh, you need Mistleton to be able to put the fourth... Uh, negate out there the fourth negate uh as they as the kids say but this is basically like what you can do with this deck this deck is actually really interesting for like uh, gold fishing with uh because you can find a lot of different routes and stuff to do different things and this is even before the dragoonie link comes out so like i said when the dragoonie link comes out we could still do these like three card combo sequences uh and use them to like always end on four interruptions versus this one which ends on three and the other one ends on four you could just always end on four with the Dragoonity Link, and you could actually get Saryuja's draw effect to actually, you know, facilitate further use of certain things. All that sort of stuff is very interesting. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video before it gets too much longer than it already is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like I said, if this video gets enough likes, I don't know how many that is, but just like the video if you want to see a Dragoonity deck profile. Because the more likes the video gets, the more likely I'd be willing to do one. But like I said earlier, if you are new here and enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I'd love to show you more stuff, more cool Yu-Gi-Oh! related nonsense, and I'd like to introduce you to my weird way of thinking about certain things. Uh, but other than that, if you want to watch live streams, there's a Twitch link in the description if you want to go follow that, and there's also a Discord link in the description if you want to go there and chat with me and other people on a daily basis about this game and other nonsense. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.